I just went to my first experience um, downtown. Um, uh, the Madrid Media had an open house, and I was there doing just meeting people and seeing if I can get my, you know, my name up in certain places saying that I'm looking for a job in media production companies and trying to get my head out there. It was hard for me being not as a person that talks to people, especially people I don't know. And right now I'm just trying to find my way into the industry. So I feel like I accomplished my goals. Um, Will Fisher, who's the president of the company, told me to send in my reel, which I will be doing tomorrow or tonight. Never know. But I stayed there for an hour and a half. So, uh, and I met some people, Molly, um, Manny, and Will, and then the other uh, owner of the company. And nice place for... Um, for just getting, you know, they've been at the other place for 15 years and now they're doing some more stuff, um, more just getting their name out there more and becoming a bigger brand, which I commend them because they're right on the street so people actually can look into the office and see, and see the office itself. So kudos um, to them for doing, you know, able to accomplish so much. Um, they mostly put out stuff for I I IBM and YMCA, so I link their I link their um, their website below, um, and I'll t get to I'll let you know some more about them and see. Right now I'm headed home. Um, I'm glad that I did this. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for getting out there and. You know, and hopefully this this opportunity will help me um, get some more info from from them. Um, if I, I'm showing them my work and giving them help, hopefully giving them um, they give me feedback. And just wanted to let y'all know that I am doing my best trying to hear and. And hopefully, I'll hear from them soon. Uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Saturday. I am um, dropping off some stuff at the trash can. Um, right now, I am. I was supposed to go to work, but I got dropped. Of course, and my mom is coming up. Hopefully, so I can go alter my my um, the bridal dress because, I, as you know, well, I don't think I told y'all, I am in a wedding in June. My first, my first oldest cousin is getting married, and she is getting married to a guy that she met in high school. So I'm happy for her and. Right now, I'm just, this is my first time being a bridesmaid, so just trying to deal with do being that because I've never done it before and stuff like that. So I thought there was supposed to be a pool party today, but it's kind of windy out here, so I'm not having a pool party, and that's our pool. It's kind of nice pool. We got the nicest one here. And, and so I'm really excited about that but I haven't been swimming yet and a lot of people have my roommates have but I have not things not in that body that I want everybody to be seeing because it seems like every time I pass the pool everybody is, looks so perfect and that's just not me so so other than waiting for my mom gonna be chilling watching YouTube videos like I always do. So I'll catch y'all later. Bye. I am on my 
way to get something to eat right now. My mom's not coming anymore. So I am just getting something to eat and I'm going back home and doing some editing on some videos. Trying to put that up with my own music. It's kind of hard. Nobody ever told me that. It's going to be a little bit on the hard side. So right now I'm just driving watching the people go by around me and yeah so catch y'all later when I get home bye I wanted to ask y'all a question like I'm just I'm on the violated like getting something to eat and my mom said I was being a little bit ill today and I was like well I have a lot going on I do not have a full time job and I'm on a part time and I get cut on days like this where I have nothing to do and like what I'm not supposed to be mad I'm not supposed to be angry I'm supposed to be always happy happy Drina you know you know so I'm glad I got more hours tomorrow I mean this week coming up 18 hours because I didn't have anything this week and what I had they wanted me to put me lower on the schedule for the eight, and then I didn't know my mom was just coming until now. And you see now it's already four o'clock. So I mean, can't just say, oh, well, I have to take the shift again. But I can't. So, so I, I, I just can't. I don't know what she was doing. So I'm, man, people, crazy people drive here. In North Carolina, just crazy. So, I'm going to Chubby, Chubby Tacos, which I know I shouldn't be eating out because I don't have no money to eat out. But I'm hungry and I have no food at home. And I have enough mo money to go shopping, to go just pay for rent. So, and I'm, oh, I'm also in debt. So, so it doesn't, you know, why does it pay to me? Just buy a six dollar meal. So, I'm just going to be eating that today, and I'll figure something else for dinner tonight, but <sighs> struggling. Grad don't graduate from college, that's what I'm saying. If you, you don't know what you're going to do, because it's a struggle out here to find something to work. And if people are wondering, I have eczema right there under my nose. And that's the big part right there. It itches a lot. And it gets a little bit scabby sometimes. When I put makeup on, yeah, it doesn't show, but it gets irritated when it when it when I'll put makeup on it. So I'm not make, wearing makeup today. Hardly ever wear makeup unless I feel up to the task to take it off my face when I go to sleep at night. So yeah. So yeah, I get back to y'all when I have my food and I'm ready to eat it. Yeah, chubby tacos, look that up. Hello, Sunday. Not feeling too good today. I'm still in bed. But I just wanted to come to y'all. Hit the videos just to say. For the weekend, and yeah, I'm just having not a, too good of a day, so I will catch y'all on Monday. And, and yeah, I'm just watching the Sierra, but maybe if I eat something, now I feel better. I'll talk to you guys later.